Hey everyone and welcome to the exciting world of data analytics with Power BI. Have you ever heard the buzz? The demand for Power BI is skyrocketing. In fact, a recent study showed an impressive increase in job posting seeking Power BI skills. Why the sudden surge? Companies are drawing in data and they need a way to transform it into actionable insights. Power BI steps in as a superhero, allowing you to visualize and analyze complex information with stunning clarity. But the benefits extend far beyond cool charts and graphs. Mastering Power BI can unlock a treasure chest of career opportunities. Data analysts with Power BI expertise are highly sought after, commanding hefty salaries. We are talking about figures that can truly transform your life. The average salary of a data analyst in India is 10 lakhs per annum and in America, the average salary of a data analyst is around $100,000 per annum. Think about it. Top companies from the prestigious MBB consultancies to the big four accounting giants and also the MANG are actively recruiting for the talent with Power BI skills. This is your chance to join the ranks of these industry leaders and make a real impact. In this very tutorial, we will be diving headfirst into the world of Power BI by building a powerful customer's analytics dashboard. Get ready to unlock the secrets of your customer base, identify trends and make data-driven decisions that drive real business results. The best part, this path to prosperity and stability is within your reach. So buckle up and get ready to unleash the power of Power BI. In this session, we will unveil a live demonstration of the customer analytics dashboard in Power BI. Are you ready to unlock your potential? Let's dive in. That said, if these are the type of videos you would like, watch, then hit the like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just a quick info for you. If you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics skills, land your dream job or grow your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate program from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like perspective and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen of others. That's not all. You also got the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comments and description box to find the data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. And now, let's get started with the customer analytics dashboard using Power BI. So, we will be using the Amazon sales data sets from 2023 and 2024 for this particular dashboard using Power BI. So, let's quickly switch between the PowerPoint presentation and the data set that we are going to use today. So, this particular data set is available on Kaggle and it is actually the data set between 2020 and 2021. So, we carried out a little bit of data cleaning process and we enhanced the data set like removing the blank spaces, removing the blank cells and the blank rows basically. So, and after that, changing the data type of dates. So, you might be wondering, there might be a few discrepancies in the way the data is formatted because there are many ways for example if i just select this column and go back to data type and if i go to the available dates there are many formats so you can see year month and date date month and year and there is an alphabetical representation of month right so there are many variations where you can represent the date so we are going to use one single format for the entire data set so that it can be easier for us to identify the week on week month on month quarter on quarter and yearly uh, analysis so that's the whole point of it first point just try to eliminate any kind of blank cells rows or columns in your data set so that the accuracy of the data that you are using to perform analysis is intact and good right so apart from that just check if you want to eliminate any of the decimal points just select this and here you can see the option to eliminate leading decimal numbers right you can use this option over here so there are about 2,86,393 rows in this particular data set so it might take a little while to uh, reflect my actions on this particular data set and apart from that if you could uh, just 
hover over through this particular data set you have a lot of things to deal with you have regions you have username discount percentage and uh, you have uh, first name last name of the user quantity order price value so why are we basically going through this particular data set is it is when you understand it is when you can quantify what's happening with the data set that's when you can plan out what kind of analysis you want to perform right let's say you did not get any kind of prerequisites from your manager you just have the data set and you need to perform the exact uh, you know analysis which could benefit your organization so they also want some insights so that they can make out some decisions out of it right some business decisions so in that situation you just have to go through the data set once and uh, do the data cleaning process and then understand what exactly has been mentioned in, in this particular data set and what kind of uh, insights you can extract out of this data set and you can proceed with that so basically we have a quantity ordered price value and uh, total apart from that you have category you have uh, different payment methods you have uh, the year you have the dates and uh, you can, so when you have dates you can also create some trend lines out of it and apart from that uh, let's say you have zip codes region right so you can find out region by sales and a few more things what you can basically all do out of it right so uh, having the data set understood let's go back to power bi so this is our power bi platform so basically you just select this particular excel workbook option and import the data uh, done it basically here you have it so we have the age category city country everything presented over here now let's quickly create the visualizations using this particular data set so i would firstly go with uh, a bar graph okay let me choose this uh, bar graph right over here and uh, let me create gender wise sales let's let's have this gender here so we should be having something called as a price or a sale so we have price over here you can quickly draw and drag this and drop it on the x-axis okay we y-axis and uh, gender on the x-axis so we don't want this filter over here you can eliminate this so now you have uh, gender y sales right now next let's use a pie chart now you can find out the region by sales quickly add the region into the legends So here you have the region by sales so uh, you have midwest northeast south and southwest regions so these are the sales number uh, line graph which can help us to do okay so just click on the canvas and then double click for your graph on your sheet now let's use the audit date and drop it onto x-axis and uh, rise onto y axis now if you could uh, use the drop down and use the date hierarchies you can use the year on year month on month so let's go with month on month or quarter on. okay let's go with quarter on quarter now you can see how are the sales are running quarter on quarter in the for this particular data set so we have two years that is 2020 and i mean yeah 2023 and 2024 the quarter on quarter comparison for year on year sales figures right now let's click on the canvas once again and now you can choose the over here and uh, so since we have two genders and i think we also have a column for age it should be somewhere in the list so basically you can derive what age groups have made the maximum number of sales right yeah so here we have it 
and the sales so basically it will create a bucket right uh, age group from 18 age group from 19 20 21 and so on now just go through the orders or you can go with the price so just drag and drop it in values and you have it here and you created a donut chart out of it and uh, let's try to create a field map now uh, you can understand which uh, area or which region was the highest uh, sales uh, we received so just go through the data set over here so we have the country just drag and drop the country and then have the price or orders you can use anything okay let's go with the uh, orders quantity order and add it in the values so here we have it so if you could expand you can find out which region was the one which is the highest number of orders and there is another simple way to do it as well if you just double click on the canvas it will give you a prompt where you can write map country wise map okay map state so we have a state uh, column here sales or price and uh, it will automatically understand your query and create a map which will show you the highest number of sales from the regions or the region or statewide sales brilliant now if we proceed into the final chart okay we have a waterfall chart so now you can create a waterfall chart so you just name it waterfall so we have a category somewhere yeah waterfall category wise just enter price or sale and we have a waterfall chart over here based on the categories you can just drag or you can you know, expand the canvas to have a clearer picture and uh, yeah so far we have dealt with okay we have a scatter plot we can do a scatter plot scatter plot for quantity of orders received against discount offered so we should be having quantity order ut by against discounts or i think we can go with order ids so it will give us a unique uh, representation it has been a small discrepancy order id or you can also go with customer id against discount offered so we have a huge data set 2 lakh plus so it might take a little while to respond to the requests that's completely all right now what left out is the kpi so you can also create some kpis so just double tap and uh, write a kpi for total sales write a kpi total orders 29000 orders kpi for total discount KPI for discount percentage. Or we can use KPI for gender, which can tell us how many number of uh, females or how many number of males did create an order. So we will be having a number here. Order ID. If you could just close these visualizations over here, we can expand the canvas and you can also have okay we can also minimize this particular area and we can also have another chat or bar bar graph for types of payments payment types payment method right 
So we will be generating a bar graph with highest number of payment methods used in the cash and delivery, online payment, EMIs, etc. So it will take a little time to reflect on this particular screen. That's all right. Now, if you can just go to view, and here you will be having various options for representing your data set. So just click on the best way to represent your data set. There you go. So basically, that's how you create. Okay, let's try to rearrange our charts a little bit so that the KPIs and KRAs are clearly visible. There you go. So that's how you create a customer analytics dashboard using Power BI. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on customer analytics dashboard using Power BI. Should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the data set that we used in this session, which is completely cleaned and enhanced one, please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you out as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Love. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.